Hey guys, it's always interesting to see where the price point hits when a card is revealed. Now, of course, the price is going to go up and down in the next few days, but um, it's anywhere between $199.99 and $200. Is it worth it? Yes. So if I were Wizard of the Coast, what I know Commander decks want is they want powerful artifacts that generate mana. Let me repeat that again. Almost every single commander deck has staples such as Soul Ring. I mean, I've used the diamonds, like the charcoal diamond, the fire diamond, and those are not as good as Moxin, obviously. But any type of mana acceleration that is an artifact is pretty much EDH gold. And this is no different. Uh, this is a very powerful card. Let me just give you some scenarios. Um, on turn one, assuming you play a land, you can play out any four mana commander card on turn one. That's bonkers, right? When you look at what type of commanders exist at four. Now, if you have a, like a Lotus Petal or a Soul Ring or something, you know, I, you're looking at a five mana commander in turn one. And the whole point of commander is to put out your commander out. Because your commander, typically the more expensive ones, the benefits don't stack very early on. But with a Black Lotus effect, yeah, you can get things way out way earlier than like anything else, right? I mean, Soul Ring is a really good mana acceleration, but it suffers from the problem that it doesn't produce colored mana. And let's be honest, free mana is better than two. And the two costs you one mana to get it. This costs you zero. So will this card be a very pricey card? Will it's, I guess, full art version be very pricey? Yeah, absolutely. This is a must-have. This is a must-have in every single commander deck. And that's why this set is going to sell really well. Um, I have no doubts in my mind that this set is going to do well. So it's all about like saving your money for a really good set. Um, if you spent your money on Ikoria, I feel bad for you. If you spent your money at Pharaoh's Beyond Death, collector's boxes because you decided that you needed a thousand of them because your favorite YouTuber told you that it was a good idea to buy a thousand collector booster boxes, I feel sad for you. Because this is the real deal. Commander has always been the real deal. Standard sucks. Like who the blank is playing standard right now? Like who's who honestly is playing paper standard as we speak? Like <laughs> Nobody. It makes no sense. Wizard of the Coast doesn't even have pre-releases for you, dudes. Like, come on. Like, There's no drafts. There's no pre-releases. There's no sealed. Are you an idiot? Like, why are you investing in standard collector boxes? No one will care. Let me repeat this again. No one will care, and no one will think fondly of Ikoria, or Throne of the Eldoran. They just remember it's the time that they banned everything. This is the real deal i mean it's a real deal now every new set looks like it's better than the previous set because obviously you got to make money right but remember this is the holiday set and if i know magic wizard of the coast they need a good q4 they need to sell and sell and sell so we got vampiric tutor we got this I made a few videos this week, but I got sidetracked because of the whole uh, Pokemon $375,000. Obviously, no one expected that to happen and be live streamed that someone would sell a fake box of Pokemon. Uh, but it happened, so I covered it. So I moved all my uh, Commander. Even before this came out, I was saying, I'm going to buy Commander Legends. I've talked to my distributor, and I'm all in. Like, I'm all in on Commander Legends because it is Commander. If you own a magic store, especially now, the cards that I sell, dual lands, I sell, you know, a lot of reserve list cards, they're the only things that are selling and people want them for, for commander. I sell cradles. I don't even, I don't have any cradles, mox diamonds in stock. Um, I just sold my last Gilded Drake the other day. These are commander cards. I'm not an idiot. No one in... No one is interested in modern cards. No one is interested in Pioneer cards. But they're playing Commander because Commander is a kitchen table format. 
So I was looking at the reports on, you know, when we could open, when a vaccine would be possible and so on. I think we have COVID-19 until 2021. That is the reporting. So if you look at when Disney can open in California, when uh, amusement parks, conventions, one thing that I'm looking really closely at right now is conventions. And there is no timeline for them to be open meaning that none of them are open and none of them have any expectation to be open until summer, uh, possibly summer of 2021. So it's back to the kitchen table. I mean, what are you going to go? No one should be buying standard cards right now. Zero people should be buying standard cards right now. But Commander Legends, yeah, you should be buying this. Now, again, I made videos in the week and I, you know, again, I didn't see this obviously until today and I was a little skeptical. I was like, oh, well, buy it with caution, but I'll buy a box, you know, don't buy. Si <laughs> what I was saying is don't speculate on singles, but I mean, uh, I don't know if I want to speculate on this one. Of course, they might produce a, a blacker Lotus that produces four man. All right. And uh, can only be used on some, you know, commander games. So the power level creep is real. Do I dislike it? No. I, I think it's a good thing that more people have powerful or cards. Um, the issue is everyone's going to need one of these. So initially when there is a low supply and a high demand, uh, its price is going to be really expensive. Uh, it's I think 200 is a little bit pricey given what a booster pack. I mean, this isn't like double masters, right? This isn't a $125 VIP pack. This is just almost a normal plus pack. A little bit more than, well, <laughs> what I mean a little bit. In context, a little bit more than a regular pack. You have the opportunity to pull this mythic. Uh, do I think that there is an investment opportunity? No. No, this is going to get reprinted. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a Lotus. Yeah, it's going to be reprinted um, to sell product, a future product. Uh, I do commend Wizard of Coast. I think it is a big step to F the reserve list. Um, as you know, um, other YouTubers have criticized my stance on the reserve list. Um, I say that it should go. And I say that no, no one would ever sue Wizard of Coast if they got rid of the reserve list because how would they sue them? Like, on, like what grounds would they sue them under? Um, but beyond that, I mean, there's a really easy solution. Just create, you know, all the cards that are on a reserve list, put commander only on the tag and you're good. And if you want some, some of them in modern, then just put modern only in the tag and you're good. I mean, if you're going to restrict by format, why don't you just reprint all the reserve list? And then you could sell a bunch of these, right? If you made this legal and modern, <laughs> you just put modern only, uh, then you could sell a bunch of these. So I think the future of magic is EDHs, EDHs, EDHs. I think COVID-19 is not going to go away for a long ass time. It's only getting worse. I think today we had 83,700 new cases, which is a record, a shadowing record. Uh, we are now higher right now than cases in any time before. It's a new high. And I think we're only beginning winter time. I think in the middle of winter or towards the end of winter, we could probably approach 100K, maybe 120K new cases a day. Uh, and it's only going to get worse from here on out, I think, until a vaccine is hopefully discovered. But, you know, it's this is a certainty. There are very few certainties in Magic the Gathering. This is one of them. The Collector's Edition, Pharaoh's Edition is not. Pharaoh's Beyond Death, Collector's Edition. You can buy with David Adams and Fire Sale right now as we speak. Hi, <laughs> guys. Or GameStop. Actually, GameStop had this sale where everything was like reduced by 50%. And Pharaoh's Beyond Death. Bye, guys.